Yeah, I gotta step way back here to get it all in frame. Alright, this table right now represents knife purgatory for Frankie and I. <laughs> That's a funny way of putting it, but yeah. Yeah, and this happens every now and then. We just kind of build up knives that don't necessarily deserve videos. Mm -mm. There's a lot in here that don't deserve them. Or maybe they do and we haven't decided yet. Or just uh. to make fun of them. Yeah, that could yeah. be too. I'm seeing a couple right now, and I know people are, <laughs> that, that are just absolute standouts, right? Right, yeah, of course. Okay. Absolute standouts. This right one, right? There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stabby got us that one. It probably won't get a video, but it'll probably make a few appearances. Oh, yeah, you know it will. Yeah, yeah. What else, though, Frankie? Okay. Seriously, though? Yeah, why'd you put him in there? The Microtech Bounty Hunter. Well, you're a huge Star Wars fan, so you had to get him. Well, I'm, she's actually being sarcastic, but <laughs> I do love, love this knife. Yeah, he's awesome. So we're just kind of joking here. This will get a video. Oh, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys. Frankie. My little new meerkat. New old meerkat. New old meerkat. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Yeah, he's awesome. This is another example of a knife that... We'll get a video. Yeah. He, so we're pulling cool. up. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go through these and kind of decide knife purgatory, where they're going to be. Definitely no video. Definitely a video. Or not sure still. I don't know. Or what do you guys think? Yeah. What ones do you Actually, want to see in video form? There's a few fixed blades in here, like right off the bat, that steel will. Yeah. Which one is this one? I forget. Um, this the is Romer. the Romer. Yeah. This is a great knife. But we it just is. don't do we don't do that much with fixed blades. I used it to cut up some tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Cool knife though. It is really cool and I love the the sheath for it. It's like the coolest sheath I've ever she seen. She uses it every day, the sheath. Uh-huh. Yeah. I Even mean, do. if she doesn't use the knife. Whatever. Yeah. No, what else? Um I mean there's a ZT in here. Come on, check it out. This is the O200. That is O ancient. A little bit. I mean, it's a collector's piece at this point, 154 cm. <laughs> yeah. It's massive. This is the, the old uh, Nick Shabazz days, um, what do you, an employee in a, a Vaseline factory oh, kind of grip, because mm -hmm. it's got that much grip, all right? Did he used to work at a Vaseline factory? How, why would he work at a Vaseline factory? I don't factory? know. It just seems like he'd be the type with his little girly hands. Oh, my God. Don't tell him. <laughs> I didn't say that. I did not say Nick, that. Nick, you know I love you. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> if anything, he's the one that makes references to it. I know. He All has right. bigger hands than me. Okay. There you go. <laughs> anyway, the ZT. But it's so old at this point. Does it deserve a video? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does mm -hmm. it deserve to be sold? Wouldn't get that mm -hmm. much money for it. I don't know what to do with it. But, eh, set it aside. Okay. All right. What else you got? The Quartermaster <laughs> with its amazing action. He appears in a lot of videos. Sometimes to scare you. Yeah, he does scare me. This is the, I forget what it's called. But look guys, just so you know. It's the Texas T. USA made. Yeah, it's the Texas T or something no, like that. No, that's the joke is that it's not. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean this will continue to make various appearances, but yeah, I don't yeah. think it'll ever get its own video. What mm -hmm. else we got? Speaking of Nick Shabazz, did he do a review on that one? I think he did. I think it was ours, wasn't yeah, it, yeah. that we sent him? Okay, there's another fixed blade. This will allow me to get tighter in the shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, which this one is, is one? cool. This is a Kaiser. Okay, there's a Kaiser bush. bush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is a mini machete. It is a, who is it? Who's the designer? I forget. Gingrich, Justin Gingrich. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, it's a mini machete, and it's pretty cool. We just don't do as much with fixed blades. That probably should get its video or, or, yeah. Yeah, we should at least compare, like, all of our fixed blades. That's a cool knife. That yeah. is a cool knife. If you're looking he into one, be. I like it. And all then, right. speaking of another fixed blade, this little Kershaw. That's an old one. It is old. People really like it. They miss these ones. You don't see too many fixed blades from Kershaw. Actually, we got another one on the table, too. Oh, trying yeah, to get, true. Trying to get a focus. There it is. USA made little fixed blade with the sheath that I don't think is original. I don't know. There you go. I don't know either. Set that one aside. You got room over there, don't you? I'm putting them over there. Here's the other yeah, Kershaw. Going my way. This is a sweet Kershaw. Show the sheath, though. So it's a neck knife. Could be. But look at that thing. I it's... noticed the retention on the sheath is crap. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's like that with all your Kershaw dunes out there. You trying to even shove like, it in there? Yeah. Oh, it looks like you were trying to pull it out. I was like, well, no. No, I was shoving it in. There goes that. Okay. <laughs> There's the Kershaw dune. 
This of fixed blades could probably get a video. It's cool. I think that is really awesome. The cold steel uh, spike. This would be like your competitive. Mm, yeah, competitive option to that one. Very thin, really neck knife, defense neck knife style. Yeah. Cool knife. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. That is neat. Yeah. Oh, here's a Ganzo. We're a little late. Well, for the cleaver party. Yeah, Ganzos are an awesome gateway drug. That's what we say. But yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's of kind this of one? an older model now, so at I this mean, point, yeah, yeah. Should he get a review? I don't know. What do you guys think? I would say no. Okay, <laughs> we'll <laughs> see. Here's this Sog, one of these Pentagon knives. We did actually we did a review on this one. Um, one of these. There's all the different variants. Yeah. And actually, I think we have another one for sale right now. So the trick is with <laughs> the trick. The deal is with that one. We bought a, a collection. All right, from a guy who bought all of his favorites in multiples, <laughs> and he bought a bunch of yeah, these. Did, okay, yeah. so we ended up with a bunch. We'll probably keep one of them, mm -hmm. but if you've watched the store, two or three have gone up for sale. Yeah, we'll yeah. probably sell more. Yeah, the cold steel brick. That thing I do not like. You don't like it? No. I kind of like it. I think it will get a video. Oh, it's well, okay. Ugly. I think I don't know that I like like it, but it deserves a video. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do not. Let me take it out of the box. I All won't. Right. Let's bring uh, everything in a little tighter. Okay. Oh, look at this. The off beat. Beat off? Yes. By CRKT, $22 or something like he that. He got a video. Did get a video. Almost didn't. <laughs> I don't know. It's thin. It's okay. It's only $22. What do you guys think of the off beat? The beat off. Okay, here's a Walmart. This is the one that's, that's made That's a Walmart knife? Yeah, it's made out of authentic rant, uh, Rantler. Rantler. <laughs> Rantler deer. <laughs> Antler horns. You know, when I grabbed that one, I kind of thought it was like an old Kershaw or something. No, it's a... It's, geez. You're right, yeah. On that note, there's this one too, this old CRKT. Okay, well this is $3.87. These, those can get grouped in those videos. with. This the, is a stubby folding razor. It's one of the razels, guys. Check yeah. this out. You've seen it once before in a video when we first unboxed this thing. It is crazy. Yes, that's locked. That's the locked position. Oh, and check out the lockup. That's a little... Uh, Hardcore. Yeah. It is one thick handle. What is the thickness on that? That's probably like an inch. Let's see. Here, I have that right here. Yeah, this thing's a little weird. Stubby razel. Point eight six. Approaching an inch. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Tip down, chunky, and weird. Look uh -huh. at this. What is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be a flipper tab? I don't know. <laughs> you you guys, try, and he's check like... Out, check out check out the action on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably no video on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> but what do we do with it? I know people will say, well, give it to me, give it to me. I know. But, like... Mm. Yeah. Right. If we <laughs> gave all these knives away, you know how much shipping cost that would be? Here's a really oldie too, this Kershaw Ken Onion. What was that one called? I forget what it's called. Actually, on the giving away note, some of these may end up going to Jimmy Slash. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Needs work. Oh, that's right, yeah. I want to say these are from around 2007. Kind of cool. This is a keeper, just kind of uh, classic sake, yeah. I guess. But does it deserve a video? I don't know, 10 years ago. <laughs> That's what you could say about it, some of these, yeah. Yeah. What else you got? Oh, look, okay, speaking of duplicates from a collector, there's a civilian. Now, I don't want to get rid of this one. It's the Spider Coast Civilian, brand new, never used. Very, very dangerous looking. Mm -hmm. um, we've got one also brand new, never used in for the sale. store mm -hmm. for sale. But we'll probably keep this one. Yeah. I've gotten to really kind of like this, the hornbill. Like Hawkbill? Hawkbill, that's it. You're close. Yeah. Hockey horn, horny hawk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe we did a video on some of those style of blades. I think we, we included have. it. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Well, you got those boxes. Go okay, ahead. Okay. What is this? Have you guys Forget. seen a couple of these on the store? No. So it's our so guy heavy. bought, and he, he I, I sharpened it for him too. The the CKF Decepticon, thousand dollars or more or whatever, that looks roughly like this. These are the knockoffs. Okay. Great action on that. Mm-hmm. He bought the real thing, and he bought every clone possible. <laughs> so he kind of knew what was what. Yeah. 
But then uh, we ended up buying them in a collection. We ended up with a ton of these. Yep. So. I would say no to videos. <laughs> and I hate well, we did phone. a video. We the did a video so gross. on the real thing. But yeah, these just. And guys, you know what's weird about me and my foam? This foam, perfectly fine. See this hard foam? Let me show. Perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, it's not that. There's a couple of chelly hairs in there. It's not that, uh, I don't know, that real soft stuff that makes the this sound. This foam? You... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> That's the foam I hate. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, those Decepticon clones, clones in general, okay? Here's one of these Ethan Grows. You won't see a lot of Ethan Grows, I guess, just because they mostly do copies. Yeah. This one doesn't have a clip on it. Uh, I was just getting these ones out, too. These are copies, too. Yeah, some of these will go away uh, for Christmas gifts or whatever, but yeah, no video. Kind of a cute little Reich copy. So that's like a, a hummingbird. It's a ripoff of a Chinese knife. It's a Chinese ripoff of a Chinese knife. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, no video, though. No. I don't know. Mm -mm. Oh, Frankie, what's this? I brought this out just for fun. This is brand new. Uh, it's by Nightcore. Yeah, the flashlight people. Mm -hmm. Check this thing out, though. I like him. It, it turns out these blades are readily available, okay, as replacements, so you can, you know, tear this thing up and just replace it like you would on any utility knife. Um, it is titanium. He's really cool, and I love his nose. And like I showed you, he looks like a goblin shark. Goblin shark. Oh, yeah, an actual goblin shark, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He looks yep. just like it. That will get a video. We just got to yeah, put it to use. It's really cool. We got to yeah. put it to use some more. Well, and this was another Ethan Grow. This little thing. Uh, A.K.A. Ethan Clone. Yeah. I don't know what that's a copy of, but I can, I do kind of like it. It's just cute and this little. Is, it almost reminds me of that McBee. Yeah, yeah but code. the... Uh, the size, that's anyway. A fr that's a friction folder. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, just size and everything, I guess, but... Yeah. Okay, here's another little baby one. Left? What's this still doing out? Yeah, yeah, we can toss them out. For now. Oh, the, uh, what is it called? The... The Best. Braza Bro? Yeah. Which is funny because I do, it does hang out in my bras, Braza, Braza quite a bit. Yeah, it's that kind of nice. Actually, this should get a video. Yeah, that he's was cool. a, That was a gift from one of the Shabazz shipments. He gave this to us. And mm -hmm. He knows I like my little knives. It's got a nice little action. That deserves a video. Yeah, he does. I want to say they're relatively cheap. I don't know, mm -hmm. D2. Yeah. Which what one is, is that? This? Oh, I don't like this. This is a Kershaw crown. It's kind of like the Almars. Yeah, it does have that same feel to it. Yeah, but Almars are nicer. I don't know. It's I manual and the action sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no video yeah. on that, even though That's it's manual. That's like a giveaway. We tend to go for those. Oh, look at this, another stabby gift. <laughs> this one might. <laughs> okay, if it doesn't get a video, it'll probably make various appearances. Oh, he's going to make tons of appearances. Yeah, it's... It's worthy for Oh, look at all things. those patents, too. Let me see. Here, wait. Here, let me do this. Here, I'll let you open it. Yeah, you can use your hands there. Yep. Look at that. Nobody's stealing this design. <laughs> no. Heck no. <laughs> wow. I've seen that before on their knives. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to do something with that. The Caligo? I don't know how they yeah. got in there. That will get a video. Yeah, I like this one. This was a newer knife. Um, $30 or so, somewhere around there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, rounded out at the end, the CRKT, that's the LCK, the Ruger LCK, that, I, I put it out here because, do we make another video on the LCK because we've already got the reverse Tanto? It's worthy of it, though. Yeah, at least like a, a hybrid video for both of them. It's just as nice as the other one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he's awesome. That's it. That's our current crop of knife, who knows what, yeah. We'll just divvy them up based on this video. Yeah, we'll, what do you guys want? Yeah, we'll, we'll probably have to refer to our own video, too. <laughs> What are we going to do with this knife? All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot for joining us. Clones, counterfeits. We got a few more. Yeah, we do. We end up with them sometimes. <laughs> Check out the Spyderco case. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. <laughs> that's nice your, and flimsy. Uh, that's your first giveaway right there. But yeah, we got a note specifically on this one. In case there was any confusion, this is the Rubicon wannabe. Yeah. Okay. Counterfeits pre prevent... Pre present a unique problem for us because what do we do with them? No, yeah, we don't, don't want to sell them. I don't want to sell them. I don't want to give them advertisement. Mm -mm. This one I thought about keeping around just for the fact that maybe we'll have a Rubicon sometime. We can take a look, but I'm guessing this is a pretty... Crappy version of it? Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it, 
it could fool somebody out there, but not a knife person that's looking for a Rubicon. But yeah, there's that one. What else you got, Frankie? Another beautiful case. Spider Co. case, yeah. I don't think we have any of the real cases out right now, but these are very generic. Well, what I notice about these is that they're all so heavy. Is this the Mamba? Yes, Mamba Italiano. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, so the quality that way, eh. I mean, just as a rough... Anyway, clones, <laughs> I, not our favorite. No. What else we got? We got one more. I forget yeah, what it is. I, what was this one? I forget, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This one is good, okay? As in, they did a good job with it. It kind of looks cool, too. That's a Well, yeah, it's a Strider. Straight up counterfeit. I mean, Strider, mm -hmm. logo, everything. This is... This could fool you. Yeah, it really could. This could get you at a gun show. That's why, again, it presents uh, kind of a unique problem. What do we do with these? What yeah. do we do with them? We don't want to sell them. We don't want to even really give them away. We've got, I think, two or three other clones yeah. um, around here, and we're just we're keeping them. We're not doing anything mm -hmm. with them. That's just, you know, because um, every now and then we see this stuff being sold at gun and knife shows. Yeah, we as don't the want... real thing. Yeah, we don't want these to get into the market of actual knives. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But there you go. That's the clones. They won't get their video unless, for some reason, we get like those knives. Um, yeah, to compare them to. To compare them to. So, yep. Yeah. All right. That's it, Frankie. That's this time. That's it. Thanks a lot okay. for joining us. The video's over. I feel like the Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, at the end. Except if you're still here, you're here for a reason, huh? Yeah, it's you been, are. It's been 48 hours. We got a giveaway to do. I know. Frankie. It was a super secret giveaway. We're talking mm -hmm. about the Tangram video. Hopefully, you out there, you got in on it. But look, 376 comments. People did keep it a super secret giveaway. Good job, guys. Your odds are going to be good, people. And, mm -hmm. and subtract a good, I don't know, 20 or 25. Call it 350 or so are your odds. Pretty on good one. odds. We didn't specify international, but if you happen to live somewhere else, we can ship it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, super secret giveaway. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do the drawing for it. And you just had to say what color you liked. Oh, did you know there was a lot of creative ways that yes, people were saying yeah. their colors? Because we wanted to keep the giveaway a secret. I was shocked how many people wanted to take it in the brown. A lot of people wanted to take it in the brown. Mm -hmm. A lot of people uh, couldn't go back once they went black. That's true, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was a lot surprising. Of a lot, a lot of, of eye-opening comments. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Okay, let's pick a winner. Here we go, running a contest. Yep, it picks a random comment. Okay, only, please just pick a good winner. I only like good winners. Frankie, that's redundant though. A winner is a winner. <laughs> I think I'll take it to brown. <laughs> well, hold on a second though. All right, hold on. <laughs> well, I hear that once you go black, you don't go back. So to be, ah, oh, so to be safe, I'll take mm -hmm. it to the brown. <laughs> okay. This is now your knife, man. Yeah. Yes. Brown town. The colors all mixed up because of the screen, <laughs> but yeah. These are cool. We were just talking about these earlier today. Yeah. They're a little bit underrated, I think. There's not a lot of uh, reviews that have been done, probably because the left hand only carry that they started with, but yeah. uh, decent, decent knife. Well, and I feel like each time we handle it, we like it more and more, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Ever since the um, dude on Instagram said, sorry if I forget your name, but he said the, the Norseman light or the Norseman, like, Poor man's Norseman. It's like, yeah, kind of. Yeah. I like it even more now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's funny how comments can work like that. All right. Thanks a lot. We're going to go for real this time. Get us a message. Well, we have an official email now that we've put in every description, but get us a message and we can get you your knife. Yep. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.